obtain, I, I got a doctorate degree because of her seed. And the Lord, you know, just mm -hmm. took care of us. And I'm just so thankful for her. Praise the Lord, everybody. So, I, I got the, uh, uh, <laughs> after she got done with all of them, and she came down to me, she made me hate her sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I was like, okay, how, how are you going to interrupt my summers to do learning? <laughs> I, I mean, you want me to memorize what? What? What does the preamble need? To, why, why do I need to learn that? We the people. Uh, I, 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 Ten years old. Preamble? No, I don't need it. But I needed it in the twelfth grade. I was able to uh, spout it out, and my teachers was like, I, "We haven't even discussed that yet." But she pushed, and she pushed, and she pushed. What you doing? What you going to go? What college you going to? Oh, Atlanta? Howard? What? Where, where's it at, Ernest? Where's it at? Oh, you going to Air Force. Okay. What you going to do in the Air Force? What you going to do afterwards? What you, uh, is, is, uh, is going to see you out? Okay. What you going to do now? You going back, right? You going back to school? You going back to school? Okay, yeah. Um. <laughs> She was a pusher, and she yeah. worked uh, to get us to learn and to hi go higher, go higher, yes. higher in education, higher in life. That's what she wanted. She wanted everybody to go higher, yeah. and that's where she's at right now. So she exalted you. She wants you to go higher. Each and every one of you, she wants you to go higher, higher in, in thought, higher in God. She's encouraged you through your life yes. to go higher. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless her. Thank you. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. For those that don't know me, I am Shania Cole. This is my father. Don't appreciate you telling me. I'm stubborn, and there's only two people that can get me to praise Jesus. Two, and Karen was one of them. At Mount Calvary, she started a praise death group with a bunch of little girls, and she must have remembered that I praised dance at Truth when I was younger. So she came to me and asked me to help her. And I was stuck. And I was like, mm, no, I don't want to do that. Like, that was back when I was younger and older now. I don't want to do that. That, 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 ain't, that ain't it. She didn't give up. Eventually stepped in and it helped me a lot. It, she felt that that was something that I needed to do. And the connection between her and, and me became stronger. Not only are we both Catholic. We actually have the same birthday. So, I'm going to miss her. I am. I wish I would have praise dance today, but I, it's too touchy. But I love her. I'm going to miss her. And I'm going to always have that connection with her. Yeah. Carolyn was my best friend, she was my sister, she was an aunt to my kids, and a godmother to my baby boy. I will always remember Carolyn for her intelligence. She was the smartest person I ever know. She was currently seeking her PMP, Project Management Certification, to add to her professional portfolio. She had incredible strength. She was the strongest and bravest person I've ever known. 
In fact, about an hour before her heart transplant, uh, about four hours before the heart transplant, she called me and all she wanted to do was talk about the weekend highlights of the tennis matches. <laughs> that was all. Carolyn was also very creative and so much fun to be around. She had a beautiful smile and a warm, loving spirit. She was my shopping buddy, but although up to recently her undot took over that. <laughs> um, One of my favorite memories of Carolyn is the day me and her went to the Acura Classic to watch Venus play. It was just such an amazing, fun day. Um, it was great. I mean, to this day, my husband used to tease us because every time a Venus and Serena match would come on, he knew me and Carolyn would talk on the phone and actually commentate the match like we were amazing. <laughs> We talked on the phone every other night for hours, whether it be about tennis, the daily news events, or just what's going on with our jobs or our lives. I'm going to miss Carolyn so much, but the one thing that gives me peace right now is I knew Carolyn, and you all knew her well as well, so you know that she was saved and she knew and loved the Lord. Yes. So that makes me proud to know Carolyn is resting like the queen she is with the angels and her beautiful spirit will live on forever. To Jackie, Maurice, and Xavier, and the rest of the family, may your happy memories give you peace and comfort during this challenging time, and I want you to know I'm sharing in your sadness as we remember Carolyn, and I am praying for you all. And I love you, Carolyn, forever. Um, I worked with Carolyn for about 25, a little more than 25 years um, at Qualcomm and Kyocera at General Atomics. And the first thing I want to do is, is thank uh, Carolyn's family and friends for allowing me to come up and, and, and say a couple of quick words. Um, and secondly, um, a, a, a very small amount of us were able to make it um, from uh, all of her past employees, but a lot of her friends and coworkers asked me to express um, their love and uh, appreciation of Carolyn and their condolences to her family. And um, listening to what everyone else had to say, that you guys all touched on on all these strengths and wonderful attributes of Carolyn. And it kind of reminded me, because I, I was thinking if I'm going to come up and say something, I've got all these stories that uh, I could share about Carolyn. And um, thinking back on, um, uh, on what was mentioned, uh, how strong she was and what a fighter she was, one day at work, uh, um, uh, a gentleman came to me and he said, hey, that lady's mean. I said, well, I said, well, no, she's not. She's a sweetheart. He said, but, I go, if you disrespect her, you demean her, you belittle her or anyone that she has respect for or cares about, uh, and that includes anyone in the realm of her family, faith, and her friends, um, and her co-workers. Uh, and, um, uh, and, and, I, and I told him, if you felt like she was mean, then I can tell you by experience that you crossed the line, that you got to go back and find out what that was and correct it. And you'll have an ally for life. And because that, that, that happened with, with me and Carolyn. <laughs> and I can tell you when we say she's a fighter, I'd rather get in the ring with Mike Tyson. So, uh, uh, and, and then another quick, quick, another quick story was about um, her nurturing and her, and her caring for her friends and her family. I used to joke with her that she was the motherest person who didn't have any kids that I ever met, and I'd never met her mother except for through untold stories Carolyn would tell me about her, her mother and. But I could see all of that she'd learned about being a mother to her friends and her family, um, Xavier, um, uh, uh, and, and everyone that, that, that she knew. Um, she would come to work and she would have um, her meals that she would sit down when we were, when we were with, with Qualcomm that her mother prepared for. And I would look at them and I could see the love in that in, in the meals that her mother prepared for. They were they were delicious and healthy and. Then her mother passed away, 
And, I, and we were working at General Atomics, and I saw that she, and I, look, the meals look the same. <laughs> she said, yeah, because I learned from my mother. You know, and, uh, so anyways, I've, I've got a million stories, but I, uh, I <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I, want to, I had to stand up and say something about Carolyn, and especially her family. Her family is like my family. Anytime somebody, you move into your new place and you haven't got everything together, and the cousin call, comes in, I'm spending the night. I mean, I hadn't even, you know, moved all the furniture in. I hadn't got everything, and that's Rolanda. <laughs> and so I met them at uh, Truth Apostolic, yeah, yeah. and one day I, I was in charge of the Holy Ghost room, and I was in charge of the baptismal committee, and here come Mother Lawrence, yes. and they told me, she's going she's to lead this, and I'm like, she's taking my place. <laughs> She taking my place before Mother Lawrence. I learned so much from her. So I know it was put into Carolyn and Maurice and Jackie. Where Jackie had? I didn't recognize Jackie. I loved the girl. <laughs> anyway, so everything, you know, God had given anointed this family. Maurice knows the word. Jackie, she loves the Lord. And Carolyn, she had she had that gift of helps. As everybody talked about it, she I used to hide from her on some Sunday mornings when my granddaughter was an ushering. Because she would come to me instead of her mama. But what you y'all know Mercedes, so yeah, it was a good thing she came to me. Because <laughs> y'all know how Mercedes is. And so she she would come to me and she said, she would just like she would needle you about that. She would say, You you gotta get her to come to church and put on this uniform. I already bought the uniform. She had bought the uniforms for the kids and everything and had everything ready from the gloves, the socks, everything, the skirts, the blouses. So she she took over. What she saw that was needed, Carolyn was there to take care of it. And God blessed her with the, those hands to, to help whatever way she can. And I just, I love her. There's a lot of things we used to joke and tease about and whenever she got a new Dooney Burke, she would come show it to me because she loved that person. And I thank and praise God for just knowing her. Just being, I feel like I'm a part of the family. I love y'all. I love each and every one of you. I know you too. So just know that God is God is good and God is going to handle the situation. I feel him now because he's pushing me to tell you he's going to be there for you. He's going to be there for you. No matter what you're going through, God is going to be there for you. He's gonna have. He's gonna wipe some tears away. He's gonna comfort you in the midnight hour when all is gone and everything, and you start to thinking about how you miss it. God was is gonna be there for you, and I thank you, praise God for that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. My name is Katrina, and I met Carolyn nine years ago when I began working at General Atomics. Um, she was the first person I met when I showed up to work. She took me under her wing and got me acclimated uh, to meet everybody. Her and I shared the love of God and the love of our family, and she and I instantly clicked. Um, I truly value her friendship, and I want to kind of touch on everybody saying she, how strong-willed and determined she was. Absolutely at work. And one thing she taught me, and I will always continue to do in her honor, is be a bugaboo. Yeah. She always said, this is wrong, they're not supposed to do it, and I'm going to be a bugaboo until they stop. So I love Carolyn a lot. She's in my heart forever. Um, I just want to say to her family, Maurice, Jackie, and Xavier, she had a deep love for all of you. Especially in Xavier. Yeah. I've heard countless stories of Xavier. Yeah. He was like her son. Yeah. Um, and you don't find that in families nowadays. And it's important to have all of your family involved with everyone. 
especially with children. And she did that, and I admire her for that. So thank you for letting me come up here. My name is Richard Schauer. I'm retired from General Atomics by uh, nine years, but I hired Carolyn into the company. I decided I was, I was a production manager and I decided I needed to set up a satellite stockroom in the factory. There was an area that was in trouble and it needed to be improved. It needed, they needed their parts. We needed to get the throughput increased out of that area. So I needed somebody to set up that stockroom. So I began my search and Billy Richards referred her to me. So when she came in for the interview, the minute she stepped foot in my office, I knew this is the person, this is the lady I need. And we sat there talking about what needed to be done. And she was so excited, she was positively fidgeting her chair. She, she was so excited. And, and she just wanted to start that minute, she wanted to start in that job. So I was able to you know, hire her, and then I hired another person to be her assistant. And they went out to that shop and they set up that stockroom. Now, I can bear witness to so many things that have been said about Carolyn, and uh, because I saw it firsthand. There were people in that shop who didn't really want those improvements. And so, people find a way to resist, and, and people can be cruel. But Carolyn is determined, she's smart, knowledgeable, she, she faced them with great courage, and she never backed down. She handled them with love and with care and with dignity because that's how, you, that's how you face people that are below you, people who try to demean you, people who try to say bad things because they don't want to like to change and like it the way it was. And, and she just stayed the course and she made it work. There were times when she'd come into my office and close the door and vent and cry and it just felt so bad for her so she'd get up, go back out to, to resume her duties and I'd wait for just wait like five minutes, and then I'd, go, I'd follow her out there, go into the supervisor's office and close the door, and I'd rip him a new one. <laughs> because, because I wasn't going to have that. She was there to help people. Uh -huh. And when some people can't see that, then it has to be stopped. So she stayed the course and made it work. It was the first satellite stockroom of its kind of General Atomics Aeronautical. She did that. She made it work. So her love and courage made it happen. You know, her sense of humor always shone through. Her kindness and gentleness was ever present. And I was, I was honored to, to know her. So glad to have hired her. And I miss her. And to the family, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Did y'all hear all of that? Yes. Did y'all hear all of that? This sister was a worker. And, and, and it looks like she was a worker everywhere she went. Not just in the church, but with her own family, at work, everywhere. That's a gift, y'all. That's a gift from the Lord. Because when, when you have that gift of him, you don't get tired. You don't give up. You keep pushing forward. You keep pushing your family forward. You keep pushing your co-workers forward. That's a gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And wait a minute. She didn't sit on it. She used it. She used that gift everywhere she went. At home. At work. Amen. Amen. You know, you, 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 can't, you can't say who God's going to put into your life. Who he's going to use to bless you. Who am I? To tell God who to use. Who am I? How am I going to tell God who he going to bless me with? Who he going to use to do work? How am I going to tell God that? <laughs> Ministry through Psalms. Amanda Eldred and Samuel Stewart. I, I butchered that, didn't I? <laughs> It's okay. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. To the family, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Y'all looking at me crazy, but this was a praiser in her own right. And if she was here today, I would tell her. 
thanksgiving into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Why? Because the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. That means all of y'all. Turn and look at somebody and say his truth belongs to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shemaiah, are you in here? It's too many masks. No, you're not in here. Okay, praise the Lord. The song says every praise is to our God. If you know it, y'all help me and sing the song along with me.
expectation and my hope. This is Apostle Paul speaking that wrote this text. said that in nothing I shall be ashamed 
but that with all boldness as always so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body whether it, listen to this whether it be by life or by death verse 21 for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain but if I live in the flesh this is the fruit of my labor yet what I shall choose I what not for I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. This is Paul making the decision. This is Paul coming to a, a, a conclusion. You know, after you live so 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 long in God, and then you you come to a conclusion. Now I want to say this, that uh, what sticks out to me is Paul is saying to us is that to live is Christ and to die it is to gain. So in other words, Paul is saying I have something to live with and I have something to live for. Mm -hmm. uh, if I've already made a decision uh, whether I'm in the flesh or whether I'm I, God takes me up out of here, I'm I'm uh, I'm okay with that. I, I'm I'm fine with it. I, I I but for someone that does not, you're on the outside of Christ. You are you you you're not saved, and you are. And I, I'm not so much preaching a uh, what's it, hellfire brimstone kind of a sermon. Uh, it is for real. Come on, come on, praise God. It, it just just somebody said just for real. Let's stop playing games. It is just for real. It is either you know you're going or you're not. I, I mean, it, let's just draw the line. And because it, it, so much stuff coming about this social media and all this stuff happening in our world is coming up against and it's trying to cut against the grain of what's what's really true. You understand? It, it, the Bible says that and I, 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 we, we, we are appointed to die once and then the judgment. It, 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 if we understand this text, that, that Paul has written for us, death would not be as bad as it is, you know. Uh, when, you, when you know the Lord, you're expecting something else. Let me just say it like that. I, 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 you're expecting something else. Even when you're going through trouble, amen, you know there's, a, there's another side to this, that if I do die, come on, amen, then I do have a life on the other side. God help me. Oh, not only a life, but somebody said a good life. See, because you're going to have another life. But the, but what you choose now, there is no predatory. Come on, there's no way to get nothing right. Amen. When you leave this earth, I stop saying, you know, some guys were saying, when I just worked for the post office, yeah, we're going to go to hell and we have us a party. Man, you must be crazy. If, 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 if I'm going to have to go through anything worse than what I did on this planet Earth here, hell can have it. Excuse me, praise God. I mean, I don't want no more hell. Come on, I just, I, I don't, I don't, I need. And so now you're talking to somebody. You look at somebody that has been out, was born, raised in church, got out of church, admit, and now I'm now back. So you, I, I have experience on both sides. I mean, you can flip the corner and I've been on both both sides. And so uh, what I want to just really talk about today is is what we choose. What we choose. What we choose right now. And Carolyn, amen, uh, was one that she wasn't a worker for fame. Come on. She was a worker for gain. God help me. She worked this life. I'm going to have to get up because I can't have a seat down right here. So she worked her life because she knew it would bring gain. Look at what, look at what she did. I, I'm listening. I didn't even get a chance to graduate from college. I'm saying... God have mercy. Look what she did. I mean, uh, 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 not only AA degrees, but we're talking about uh, 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 what bachelors and, and 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 when she said doctrine, I, I want to go hide somewhere. I'm saying that because 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 her gift pushes, it pushed this family to another level. Well, what she wants you to do now is get. If you are not saved, she wants you. To, she's pushing you to do that because whether you love it or not. There's a seed of inheritance in God in this in this family. It, it's just there. How can we we can't even get past it? 
Uh, so to live, my God, is Christ, and to die uh, is, to, is to gain. Just in case we, we uh, don't understand uh, the value of salvation, just in case we don't uh, understand it. But, see, for those that don't believe in God, come on. All we want to do is live up to a, a, a natural expectation in this world. And that's all you're going to do anyway. It, if we're going to live up to the world's values, we're going to live up to the world according to how much money we can make. Come on. How much uh, popularity. We know that's going on. And you get Facebook and there's all kinds of stuff going on. I get on it, but I get off. Uh, how much power can I can I gain in this in this life, how much power, and then how much prestige can I can I uh, uh, can I gain uh, in, in this world? Because that's all that I have. That's all that I'm I'm I'm, I'm pushing for. That that's all that that I, that I live for. But the Bible tells us in Mark eight and thirty six, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his son? Uh, 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 am I having somebody today? Uh, 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 what shall a man give? Listen to me. In exchange, listen to me. It's not for your own your life. But what would we give for, for the exchange of our soul? You're looking at an ex-crackhead. You're looking at an ex. Well, it wasn't crack then, but it was free basin and doing all that. I was doing all of that. Amen. And a bag of chips and everything else. Amen. And I, 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 yeah, I was doing all that, spending all my money on everything. Amen. Especially the cocaine. Come on. I, yeah, I was, I was, I was uh, driving. Uh, well, she was my wife then, but she was gonna kill me. Cause y'all look at her, y'all. Yeah, uh huh. We, you know, she was gonna kill me. A shotgun. Y'all ain't look. Look over there. She was a pusher. She was about to push some, some, some triggers. And and come on. And so, but because because I lied so much, so uh, but God saved me, and and He saved me, and so I just want to give you that dis that, that disclaimer because uh, 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 I'm glad I'm on other back in the number. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been thirty some years, so I'm, I'm just still praising God. I still can't believe that God delivered me. But it's not about me. It's about Carolyn. It's about you. Okay, so so uh, 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 well, well, Pastor, then you're talking out about this. This gaining, uh, we hear what Paul is saying. Uh, well, what is it to gain? What is what what is the gain? Why should I want Christ in my life? Why why should I want this 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 stuff you're talking about today? What well, number one, Amen. We we will when we leave this planet Earth, Amen. Uh, 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 wait, well, let me back up. Uh, while I'm living here, I have a better life. Let me put it like that before we go on into the afterlife. While we are living here, I mean, you got. You got you got praise, you got worship, you got glory, you got inspiration from God, you got worship, you got you got you got the Lord giving you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, uh, uh, whether you're going through or not. Amen. You know, uh, uh, it, because then the thing is, it's harder living for the world than it is for God. Okay, praise God. You're gonna you're gonna go through some stuff while you're in God, but at least I have something to draw from. You yeah. come on. You, I have something to. I'm talking to somebody today. I have something to draw from. I have, I have. I, the Bible says that in you will be a well of water springing up unto everlasting life. That means, that means I cannot bankrupt God. I can't, I can't pray enough for God to turn His ear from me. That means, Amen. When I get in trouble, I got God on my side. When I, when I, at those times when I know I should have, should have, and I did go to jail one time, but I should have been in prison, but I didn't go. You, you can I get a witness? Anybody in here? You, you maybe you maybe you weren't in the streets like I was, but I'm just saying that that we have all of that. So we have to to gain. We gain. We gain. When we leave it, we gain a better body. God, I praise God for that. Uh, yeah, our, our resurrected body. Come on. But when we leave here, when you know, because we get older in, in our age and our sickness, we get sickness, and then finally we we die. Amen. And then, but the thing is, is that. Uh, when we get get in heaven, we never grow old. There is no growing old. You know, there's no diseases there. There, there is no sickness there. We ain't suffering pain. Amen. None of that. Amen. With none of that. And and we gain a better home. That's what the Bible says. That in John 14, 1 through 3, it says that let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, uh, I, I would have told you, I go to prepare. A place for you. Isn't it good though? Yeah. Don't
Let this sound good that it, it, even though I don't achieve everything that I want to do on this earth, my God, I'm going to a better place when I when I leave here. And that's why I believe that Carolyn was such a, a, a good worker because, come on, hallelujah, she knew that, amen, that her crown was going to be there, her robe was going to be there. Come on. Oh, it's paying off. Don't get me wrong. Blessed are the dead that die in the Lord from henceforth, said the Spirit of the Lord. They shall, my God, they shall, uh, 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 what is it, that their works shall follow them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will rest, that will, that will go. They will rest from their labors and their works shall uh, 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 follow them. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so Paul, Paul began to speak this, this, about this text. And, and, and number one, Paul was in prison as he was writing. He was in prison. He was under house arrest. Come on. And all I hear now is joy and happiness and, and, and peace and glory. And I love God. And God, whether I, I, whether I get it or not, amen, I love the Lord. I love you, God. I mean, he's chained. Come on. Every time he was chained to a, to my God, to a prisoner. He was chained, my God, I mean, to an officer of the prison. Come on. He was chained between, my God, between two Two uh, officers, amen, while he was in prison. But yet and still he had this mindset because he had come to that to that conclusion. Come on. And and so then 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 he he is giving us a word today. Amen. To let us know that uh it is all right to serve God. Yes. It's all right. It is all right to praise him. It is all right. Uh, uh I know that it is not not uh, uh, what say we don't we don't get fame some folks you know we don't get fame now we don't it's, it's just it's not a uh, 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 you know they say wholesome to to do these things but amen but today I want to tell you that to live is Christ and to die is gain that is the value of what all that was said today amen come on amen that that Carolyn lived a life amen to the fullest amen she Every place she went, it was contagious. Her, her strength and, and, and my God, her, her, you know, her motivation, come on, her encouragement to push somebody. Amen. Do you know what kind of sacrifice that is? Oh, yeah. Amen. My God, to lay your life down for somebody else. Do you know what, what that, that does for us? Amen. When, when we help others out. Amen. But when that gift is in you, it is in you. So I'm going to say today, amen, that that's value. That's value. When you when we get in this casket, when 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 we lay down, my God, our life, when our last my breath leaves us, come on, hallelujah. Our soul is intact with God. And I want to tell somebody today, amen. Make sure, amen, when you leave this planet Earth, amen, that you, you it's just like you you you're making an investment. You 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 already, my God, know exactly what's gonna take place with your life. Come on. Whether they loved you when you was here, whether they hated you, whether they talked about you, tell your neighbor, my stuff is intact. Come on. Hallelujah. I got a prepaid plan in, in the kingdom of God. God knows my name. He knows my service. He knows exactly what I've gone through. Come on. Hallelujah. There's no struggle about our life. Sometimes when we have funerals and the person is not saved, we have to work around all of that. We don't have to work about it. Work around nothing. Hey, shout out. Hallelujah, this is the glory of God. We don't have to work around nothing today. I feel good. I feel like preaching up in here. I, 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 because I know it meant her works. I know her works, my God, hallelujah, have been seen by God. It is even evident in everything that she's done around us. Come on. From a job to a church, some startup plans. Come on. Hallelujah. She was the one. God said, I am a reflection through her, my God, because God is working right now. The Bible says he forever lived to make intercession for us. God is always working. He's a great high priest that's been passed into the heavens. He's praying for you now. For somebody, amen, you know exactly he's pulling you. For somebody, he's pulling on you because he's working for you. The devil is working against you, but God is working for you. I come to give you life and that more abundantly. Hallelujah. We ought to praise God for that. We ought to praise God that we have to work around Carolyn's life. Her body, my God, is here, but her soul is in God. And she's probably up there cheering on, saying, Good God of mercy, grab my brothers and my sisters. Grab my cousins and my aunties. Grab them, God, hallelujah. Yes, 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 and bring them in. So what I want to say today, hallelujah, that my God, if, if I live, my God, I'm good with it. Hallelujah. I'm, Paul said, I'm, I'm, I'm in between. 
I'm betwixt means I'm in between. My God, whether I want to stay here or whether I want to leave. Have anybody ever felt like that? God, at times that God, you just take me now and I am all right. I, I know that my family is here, but if you take me now, sometimes, you know, during this COVID and all this stuff that's been going on, amen, your body be going through. I was going through some stuff. I said, God, if you take me now, I know that I'm good. Inshallah, I am good with you. Somebody said, God, I'm good with you. Hallelujah. My God, I'm good with you. And I know, my God, hallelujah, that when I leave here, my God, hallelujah, that there are angels, amen. Angels are, 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 are cheering us on. Glory. It's the Bible says that heaven rejoices over one sinner that repent. So if you ever, my God, my God, have to make a choice, my God, choose God. Choose Christ. Hallelujah. Choose the church, God. Choose fellowship, God. Choose my God. And while I reckon the sufferings of this present time cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in me. Tell somebody I got something to live for. Hallelujah. And I got God on my side. I got something, my God, something, my God, that I can pass down to somebody else. My God, my children are looking at me, my God. Hallelujah. Your children are looking at you. They're wondering, my God. My Lord, I need that what they have. So that is why we're here today is to celebrate. I know I got excited, but to celebrate the life of Carolyn A. Lawrence. Not to have a funeral service. But we are here to celebrate, my God, which she did on this earth grave. And family, be pleased. Yeah, you're going to go through it. And I would how dare, dare me to say that you're not going to cry. You're not going to whatever so often feel, my God, feel, uh, you know, some pain and, and, and things of that nature. And I know preaching at funerals is just, hey, it's just what it is. But I want to tell you something. God, my God. God knows how to comfort us in times of trouble. He will, he will hide us. He will, will keep us, amen, in his care. Let us bow heads and let's pray. God, we thank you for the strength that you have given us, God. And we thank you for uh, the blessings on this day. God, I just thank you for all I've heard today. I just wish, God, I could have known her even more while she was here. But God, I heard it through the family and the friends. That wherever she went, she was a strange person. She, she pushed and she motivated, she encouraged. That their lives would be to the max of what they should be. I thank you for people like her, God. And I know that her time was up, Lord, but we thank you. Now bless this family. Be with them, God, the days after. Be with them, Father, even when they leave this church today. But be with them. May they uh, uh, commune with one another, God, in, in, in a holy fashion. And, and, and just talk about, oh, Father, what, what, what gift that was here that, uh, uh, that you blessed them with. I thank you for everything, God, that transpired in this day. And, Father, we love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Clap your hands and love the Lord. You're in the hands now, brother. Everybody. Okay. Remain seated, and when uh, when they take the casket out, um, we're going to do. I'm going to do the benediction, and then. Uh, then the family will leave from this part of the church to the fellowship hall. Okay? Those are your instructions. Amen. Thank you, God. Glory. Thank you, God. Father, we thank you, God, for this service. Thank you, Father, for your blessings, God. I pray that you uh, would bless us and, and that you would keep us, Father, 
in perfect peace, oh God. I pray you would bless us, oh God, and may your hand continue to be upon our lives. God, thank you for this service, God, and, and may your eyes, God, shine. Look down upon us, God, and guide us in everything that we do. My God, may your glory shine upon us, Father, and envelop us into uh, your presence, God, each and every day. Thank you for blessing us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.